Good afternoon. Welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Mike Powers. Let's start with Kristen Van Dyke in the forecast. Kristen. Good afternoon. More storms today up in the mountains, the northern mountains, western high terrain, and the Sacramento. They're not as widespread as yesterday. High pressure is going to really limit the activity that we see today, though. We'll still have to watch for slow moving storms and perhaps even some flash flooding in the burn scars this afternoon. Tomorrow, even less moisture to work with as we get cut off from our moisture supply. So just reusing whatever moisture is left over after today. We'll be looking at those thunderstorms developing primarily again in the mountains. Rain chances will stay slim through Wednesday, though we'll start to see those go back up again by Thursday and Friday. For the metro, highs right around 90 today. A slight chance you may see a few evening thunderstorms. Spotty rain possible Tuesday and Wednesday. And again, better chances for rain Thursday and Friday with temperatures still a little above average, topping out in the low 90s. Officials from the Santa Clara Pueblo tribe will be surveying the area today after massive flash flooding over the weekend. Many of the creeks, which have been extremely dry this year, were quickly overflowing with water last night. Santa Clara Pueblo Governor Walter DeSeno and six others had to be rescued after getting separated from their car. Several people were directed to the Santa Clara Event Center, but were later allowed to go back into their homes. Tribal officials will be touring the area today to get a better idea of what damage and cleanup they're facing. There have been no immediate reports of any injuries or specific damage. It is back to school for University of New Mexico students, but there will be some changes hitting the pocketbook. First, more students, about a 3% increase, and that includes freshmen and transfers. There are 3,600 freshmen this year. Tuition is up about 5.5%. Freshmen will now pay $2,662 for the fall semester. And parking picket, uh, permits rather will be more expensive. This year there are fewer parking spaces, so fees will jump from $242 to $300 for dorm residents. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.